What is going on guys, it's your boy Death Gun with another Monster Hunter World video and today we're going to be talking about this week's events and limited bounties, starting off with the limited bounties. First off we have Ecology Survey, Hunt Down 3 Toby Kadachi. After that we have another Ecology Survey where we have to hunt down 5 Flying Waverns. After that we have General 9 star rank where we have to clear 5 quests in the 9 star category and when we've done all of this we will get our gold wyvarian print and our golden egg so highly advise you guys go and check this out. Now let's check out the events because we have a lot to cover there's a lot of really cool stuff on the list for you guys. So let's kick things off with Code Red. This is a really cool event that has you hunt down all these monsters, but as we know, they have less health than usual. This event is really important because you will need it to get the red orbs in order to get Dante's layered armor set. So I highly advise you guys go and check this out. Then we have Flesh Cleave to Bone. Overall, it's a pretty basic quest. You have to face these guys in the arena. Nothing special. I've always said it. So, on to the next one. Then we have Deep Green Blues, where you face off against all these monsters and you have a higher chance to get a gold crown. The same with Rock and Roll Reese's. You have to face all these monsters and it's the perfect time to hunt down gold crowns for all of us that are still missing some of these. And this one is really cool The Scorn of the Sun. This is where you face off Arc Temper Teostra and where you get the incredible Y or Gamma Teostra armor set. I highly advise you guys check this out before it's gone. It's a really cool armor and some of its pieces are definitely end game material. And our last event quest is Snow and Cherry Blossoms where you face off a tempered Pink Rathian and Legiana. This quest is known for being one of the best when it comes to getting Hunter rank so if you're still trying to reach a milestone I highly advise you check this out. Now this is where things get really interesting and brand new. The Kolv Taroth Siege is back and this time she's bringing 14 new weapons, one for every single class. And even though I find this to be really cool because every time they add something it's amazing, there's a lot to be said about the way they're doing things and I want to give you guys my general opinion. Nonetheless there are some amazing weapons so I highly advise you go and check them out. With that being said, stay tuned for more content, smash that like button and subscribe, and for now your boy Death Gun, out.